So Donald Trump has come out and endorsed the Bernie Sanders filibuster against Mitch McConnell and the Republicans. As I noted last night, Bernie Sanders and Ed Markey want an up and down vote in the Senate on the $2,000 stimulus check bill, which passed in the House with 44 Republicans supporting it. And it's something that Donald Trump supports as well. But Mitch McConnell likely doesn't want it to come for a vote. So Bernie has said, if you don't bring this to the floor, I am not going to allow a vote on the national defense veto override that you're coming back to Washington specifically to vote on. So if you want your defense money, you need to give me a vote on the $2,000 checks. And Trump tweeted support for this plan against his own party. There's a tweet here noting the plan. And then Trump says in response, give the people 2000, not 600. They have suffered enough. And this is in response to Bernie basically saying today, I will be going to the floor of the Senate to demand that the Senate pass a $2,000 direct stimulus, direct payment to every working class American in this country. What would a $2,000 direct payment mean to you? And so Trump is in endorsing the Bernie plan. This shows just how powerful Bernie Sanders message can be. I'm not a defender of Trump. If you guys watch this channel, you know that I've been making very, very anti-Trump videos for months now. And I stand by that. But this shows that Bernie Sanders can convince even one of the most monstrous presidents in American history to support a good idea, even against his own party. You have a Republican president lining up with a Democratic socialist to fight for the working class on an isolated issue against his own ghoulish Republican Party. And this is a big deal. And you have to add to the fact that both Kelly Leffler and David Perdue are supporting this policy right now. Now, you know they're doing it because they're desperate to win their Georgia runoffs, but support is support. And today, both Purdue and Leffler said, for a variety of reasons, Leffler, for instance, said, I always support Trump, and so therefore, I support him here. They are backing the $2,000 checks. Again, this is a this is a tough moment for Mitch McConnell. We've been talking about it. This is the worst case scenario for Mitch McConnell. If Trump wouldn't have said anything, they would have passed a $2,000 stimulus maybe in the House with little Republican support, and it never would have saw the light of day in the Senate. It just wouldn't have been voted on. They would have gone home for the new year and the issue would have died. But that didn't happen. Trump speaking out and Bernie showing courageous leadership makes this issue unavoidable right now. And it's really fascinating. And here's the thing. Even if you give Purdue and Loeffler permission to vote for the checks because you're worried about their performance in Georgia, you know, in early January on January 5th, the fact of the matter is if the Republicans fail to pass this, if the Republican party doesn't pass it, even the votes of Purdue and Loeffler could be meaningless. Because Ossoff and Warnock can say, look, regardless of what Loeffler and Purdue did, the problem is the Republicans in power. That's what matters. And so long as Mitch McConnell is Senate Majority Leader, you're not going to get your $2,000 and you're not going to get a whole bunch of other good things the American working class needs. So regardless of David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler, you got to put me, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock in charge. That's what you need to do. And so Trump has absolutely sandbagged and sabotaged and kneecapped Mitch McConnell. I don't know if Trump is doing this on purpose, but it wouldn't surprise me that Trump is so petty that he would damage his own party simply because they're not backing his attempt to pilfer the election from the American people. But if this does help the working class get $2,000, and if this does help the Democrats win the Senate, I will be the first to give Donald Trump praise for his actions, however unintentional. Because even if Loeffler and Purdue vote for this, they are trapped in Washington as long as this is going on. They can't leave. They can't leave Washington because their votes are going to matter here for the count and the optics, giving their opponents an advantage. So Donald Trump's buffoonery and Bernie Sanders' leadership could win the American people a better Senate and the money they need to survive.